Hey babes, welcome to the Ariel Show. I am here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. I found myself a little bench. Hopefully not too many people around, but if they are around, they're gonna get a surprise dose of Ariel's ramblings today. I am so excited to be back with you. Last week I cut to a pre-filmed episode because frankly I was getting exhausted because tour is going forever. It's fantastic, but I was tired and need a little break. So, um, back with you today, the last week of March today, the last week we're talking about creating a future, falling in love with our future, making something brilliant and amazing for ourselves, and the feedback I've been getting from you guys has been really wonderful, so I'm glad you guys are in this with me, I'm glad you're enjoying it, I'm really enjoying talking about it. Okay, so the week before last, I introduced you to a concept called the model, and I'm gonna put that link up right here, here, somewhere on the screen, for you to follow. If you did not see that, or if you need a little refresher, head back and watch that, because that is really essential and foundational to what I'm gonna be talking about today, which is how to achieve your goals, how to do all the stuff you wanna do in life. And this is like some secret sauce stuff that I didn't even know about, that never occurred to me, that has just changed so much for me. So, quick review of the model, it goes like this. There's circumstances in your life, those are things that are unarguable, things that are not opinion-based, but just true facts. And then there's our thoughts about it, and then those thoughts that we have create our feelings, and then our feelings are what determine the actions that we take, and the actions that we take are what ultimately creates our results and creates our dream life. Now, here's what is so cool about this. Our circumstances, those are unarguable. Those are things that already exist. They're not things that we can immediately change. So the very first thing in the model that comes up that is 100% in our control that we can change is our thoughts. And what's so wonderful is you just make that subtle thought shift and then boom, all the dominoes fall. That changes your feelings. That affects your actions. That makes the results that you want. So what this means is you can work backwards. You can start on the R line and the results line and say, this is the result that I want. And then you can say, what type of actions would I have to take to get that result? And then you move on up. Okay, what kind of feelings would I have to have to take that action done? Okay, and then what, to get those feelings, what kind of thoughts would I want to have? And then you move on up the circumstances, just your life or whatever. It's that simple. And the reason I love this is because it's such a little lever that you can just, you can change a thought instantly. That's so easy. You can go from, I feel horrible today to today could be beautiful. You can change that little thought very quickly. Like that's not like a big deal to do that. It's, you can be in your bed, like you can be half awake doing that. You don't have to like get your butt up and go to the gym. Let's say the action that you wanna take is go to the gym. And so let's say the feeling that you wanna have is empowered and motivated, excited to go to the gym. What kind of thoughts would you have to have to feel that way? You'd have to have thoughts like, the working out that I do matters. I'm in charge of how energized I feel today. I'm going to get my, gonna reach my goal or whatever it is in the gym. And so once you get hyped up and excited in your thoughts, that affects your feelings. Okay, so what's so powerful about this is, I don't know if you guys remember in my book, I talk about how I was always just results oriented. I thought that was all that mattered. The outside results that I peddled, I, could care less at the time, at least I thought I could care less about my methods of getting there. So my methods to create results in my life was self-bullying. I would just beat myself up all the time. Nothing was ever good enough for me. I never met, much less exceeded my own expectations. I was just very hard on myself and I thought, that's how you do it. You boss yourself around until you get the results you want. That's how you create a life that you want. And what was so awful and soul-sucking about that was I was miserable. I wasn't loving towards myself. And yes, a lot of times I would get the results that I wanted, but it was never sustainable. And here's like the secret for you guys. Every time that you grin and bear it and push through and you don't change your thoughts or you don't change your feeling, but you make yourself do the action to reach your goal. So if your goal is be fit, that's the result that you want. And the action is go to the gym. And you're just like, fine, F it, grit your teeth, wake up and go to the gym. Every time that you do that, you're basically making it 10 times, 100 times harder on yourself than you have to. You could instead just sit in bed and start thinking the thoughts that you need to think to get the feeling that you need to wake, to get up energized, to take that same action and get the same result, but with much more enthusiasm. And you don't just get the same result, you get an even better result. That's what's so mind blowing. Literally, if you come at something with genuinely wanting it, being enthusiastic about it, you show up fully in who you are, your brain has more creative ideas, you're more solution-minded, you're just, you're more on top of it than if you make yourself do something. So if you're like me and you know how to force yourself to create the results you want, if you're like, I can make myself do this, I'm like so freaking badass, I can just like willpower my way through life, I'm telling you there's a better way where it's not a struggle. If you bring struggle to it, struggle's gonna be built into the fabric of you achieving your goal and it's not gonna feel as good. You can bring ease to that and it all begins with those thought shifts. So, 
I hope that this gives you something to think about. Haha, <laughs> get it? Our thoughts really do affect the results that we create in our lives. Not because we think things and they magically happen, but because we think things that create our feelings that help us take the actions that we need so that way we take the results that we need to get. So I hope this was helpful for you. There is a whole dialogue and conversation happening over at my private Facebook book, Facebook group just for people who have purchased the book. So be sure to head to the link in my description to learn more about that. I'm over there answering your questions via video on a regular basis and I love engaging with you on that way. Please leave me a comment, please subscribe to this week's episode and I love you guys so much, see you next time.